Mr. Van Rensburg phoned me and he said, he said, I've got a massive problem in Amlazi. There's a sewer running in the streets all over. And uh, the, 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 the water from the reservoirs, the things have gone wrong. We need for you to go down there and go and sort out the problem. So I arrived there and uh, I duly got uh, organized in my office and an African lady came and, and saw me and uh, I never believed in closing my office door. I, I don't know about other people, I, I didn't do that. And uh, my thought behind that was that, you know, sometimes uh, a person wants to speak to you and uh, you, you're the senior person and when the door's closed, it's like you're closing it or shutting it in their face and they, they, they feel nervous, you know, about uh, addressing you. And so I've always left my, my, my office door open to everybody and anybody at any time. This African maid came and uh, she said to me, um, we hear you a Christian. I said, yes, I am a Christian. She said, do you really believe this Jesus? I said, yes, I do really believe Jesus. She said, do you think you can come with us tomorrow? I said, who's us? She said, there's four other ladies. Would you come with us? I said, well, it depends where we're going. I mean, I, I, don't, I don't even know the geography of the place. They said, no. We'll, we'll show you where we want to go. Hey, and I'm praying, and I said, Lord, please help me out here, because I don't know what's going on here yet. I mean, I'm not even settled here yet. Anyhow, I uh, got into my car the next day, and these five ladies got in, and off we went. We seemed to drive for hours, although it wasn't, but we ended up in the sticks. There in the sticks is this bungalow. Get to this bungalow, and uh, they said, this is where we're going went inside and went into a little lounge and right in the middle of the lounge there was an imbuer coffee, coffee table and I said to them, I said, well what am I doing here? They said, no, this man that lives here was a driver, he drove the vehicles and he's gone lame and we want you to pray for him because he's gone lame. So I said, well before we do that, just all let's kneel around the table. We did. And the Lord said to me, he said, this lady here, she's into adultery. Tell her. So I told her. Next one, into alcohol behind the scenes. Next one, drugs. All five got hit. I mean, there was, there, there was weeping like you cannot believe. And all five of those ladies recommitted their lives to the Lord. And until the day that I left there, uh, they were still active and, and serving the Lord. And they brought this man in in a wheelchair and his, his wife pushed the wheelchair in. I took one look and I said, uh, Lord, just tell me, why would a man just go lame? What? No, there's no evidence of any disease apparently, but he's just gone lame. The Lord said, because he put me aside and decided that he would now walk with the ancestors. So he needs to have a change of mind and a change of heart. So I spoke to him. I said to him, I said, I said uh, there was a time when you were active for Jesus and you brought the word forth for Jesus. He said, yes. He said, I, I, I did very much so. I said, and then you decided that Jesus needs to take second place and that you would go to the ancestors. And he, he broke down and uh, he said, yes. He said, that's quite true. I said, well, okay, let's speak against that. And, why don't you just receive the Lord Jesus Christ again and let's see what He will do for you. That's fine. Prayed for Him. Nothing seemed to have happened, you know, but He recommitted His life to the Lord Jesus Christ and that was that. And we finally went, got back to the office and started getting a little bit organized. And the following morning, sure enough, here they come. You've got to come with us. I said, hey, I went with you yesterday and I'm not at your beck and call. I've come here to do a job. And I mean to do it. There's sewer running down the main street here. You like walking through the sewer? They said, no, you must come, please. Go outside, there's a driver, he's walking. He's come back to work. So that was my introduction to Amlazi.